Let's start with the reading Taurus. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Keep in mind that the energies go both ways. Feel free to interpret the direction of the messages as the best resonate with your own personal situation. Also, I keep selecting people for free personal readings. I do so every week. If you need one, just keep watching to know how to get selected. Now, let's see what messages, energies we have around you right now and your upcoming events. Okay, so the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups followed by the Queen of Wands. And overall here, you're really seeing something very special, Taurus. This is not an easy combination to find. This is really, really beautiful. So what we're seeing here is a very powerful pair. There is definitely a lot going on in between the two of you. Sparks everywhere, fireworks. Regardless of what you look like, uh, tall, short, heavy or slim, blonde or brunette, the two of you together are really, really hot. <laughs> it's not just about the appearance. It's definitely about the energies. And there is something right here that it's talking about how the two of you fit together so well. We see passion, we see love, we see fire, we see romance. We really see something here that it's not easy to find. Your energy merging together is very special. And this is something that can consume a lot of your focus. You're thinking, in fact, about each other constantly. And perhaps this defines a turning point into a situation where you wanted to find someone special. You wanted to feel certain emotions again, and here they are. Now, given the fact that I'm seeing that you or this person um, are looking for this potential, beautiful, powerful connection, we have to make sure that this is not just something that you want to see, but in fact, it's something that you are seeing. Are you both making this up or is this really happening between the two of you? Now, we all interpret the world and the energies from our point of view. Our perception makes reality. The world happens inside of our brain. And so it doesn't really matter if you're making this up or not, but it's going to impact the outcome. It's going to impact the evolution of these two energies. So let's find that out. Now, in the middle of the reading, the Fool and the Four of Pentacles. Right here, I clearly see two opposite energies instead. These two went very well together. Whereas here, we see a conflict. Uh, we see with the Fool, someone stuck in between taking a risk being honest and transparent about uh, their feelings or hide and play games instead. Obviously, with a fool, this person wants to go for this, wants to take that leap of faith and being honest, being transparent, do things as they feel they should be done from their heart, not from their mind. Whereas instead here with the Four of Pentacles, someone is holding back Someone is trying to maintain strength and control over the situation so that they don't uh, risk to be hurt. Right here, I almost feel that someone is just thinking, I want to sign a contract where we agree that we are not going to break each other's heart. But obviously, that's, that's not possible. That's not how this works. Love is a risky business. But... When that risk pays off, the result is the most beautiful reward you could ever get. And so you know, what we see here is someone who is trying to play games, but their true feelings 
cannot be held down for too long. Obviously, I see a lot of different things in these two cards, a lot of uh, doubts, but also a lot of energy that is pushing this person to be who they are. And it's just a, a fight right there because this person with the fool here is also afraid to maybe be daydreaming, to see things, as we were saying earlier, that are not really there wanting to see that special connection therefore perceiving this as a special connection which perhaps instead is going to turn out and evolve in a very negative way so what we see so far is just thoughts perceptions and overall energies let's see why they're there and how they're going to evolve in your focus position six of cups I mean, I say you, but honestly, this reading can go, could go both ways. Uh, it could be you, it could be this other person. For the sake of the reading, I'm going to say you, but feel free, as I said at the beginning, to interpret the messages in the opposite way. Right here with the Six of Cups, I see that you're not afraid of new love. You are afraid of old pain. With the Six of Cups, in fact, you are thinking about the past could be an ex, it could be also this person right here, if you have history with this person. But regardless of that, this energy and this cycle feels completely different from what you had before. We'll get confirmation, obviously, but the feeling right now is that this is new energy. You know, whoever is in this card, you cannot live in the past. Whoever is experiencing this energy, stop living in the past. The past, in fact, does not exist. It's not a room that you just left and you're afraid to go back to. The only moment that we know and we ever experience is the present. Today, right now, right this moment. So focus on today. You are going to have major gains by doing so. I know that we want to learn from the past and I know that as human beings, we always try to see the patterns, see the danger and never do something that puts us in that position once again. But one thing is seeing patterns and one thing is creating patterns instead. The fact that you've had bad experiences in the past doesn't mean that it's still going to happen right now in the present. Now, of course, past position, three of swords, this is the old pain. This is the heartbreak. This is the disappointment, the betrayal. You look back and think, how did I not see this coming? Maybe you feel a little naive for uh, not having uh, seen the red flags. But overall here, you have to let go of that, Taurus, if this is you. Forgive yourself if you ever even need to forgive yourself, honestly. You were just trying to trust the person. And when you give trust, you are not always there checking all the boxes, making sure that the person does everything as they should. You just trust them. And so you take that leap of faith. And it's fine. It's what you are trying to do again, but you are holding back, obviously. Right here, maybe at some point you thought, who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? Just like this song. I don't want to fall in love ever again. I'm fine by myself. I don't need anyone. But uh, we're, we always gra gravitate towards love. Eventually we do that. And so instead of pushing it away, we can maybe learn how to rise again. How to use this energy and becoming stronger. And you are a strong, beautiful Taurus, in fact. And you can do this. We see it right here. In your strength, you have it in you. You need to heal your wounds. Whatever has happened in the past has no reason to still impact what you do today. Not with this situation, at least. Love yourself. Move slow. Find a place in your energy, in your mind, where you feel comfortable and and there, just sit there, lay there, and wait to feel stronger. 
Don't be afraid to take some time for yourself, Taurus. This is absolutely fine. If this person or anyone rushes you, making a decision, um, getting out of this healing zone, then that's not the person for you. But I don't believe that this person is going to do that. Now, supporting the reading Queen of Swords, we see here someone on the other end. I do believe that it might be this Knight of Cups. Uh, they are analyzing you. They are trying to understand why the situation is not moving forward. Is Taurus not interested? Is my Taurus uh, thinking that maybe I'm not the right person for them? What is happening there? And, you know, as I was saying, this person is not going to rush you. But deep down, they're freaking out about the situation. So you're not doing much. You are taking your time and you should do that. We see how they are starting to try to look at the situation from a lot of different point of views, making sure that they also don't get heartbroken. Look at all these swords that we see at the bottom of this reading. The foundation of this reading really speaks of how much the two of you are thinking about this. How much of this is actually happening into your head. But overall, it's because from you, you are Taurus, you're loyal, you are reliable, you look beautiful, you look amazing, and you deserve the best. You want to find someone similar to you. Did you just find that person? Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords as well, look more swords here. Someone is about to make a quick decision on something. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be you or the other person will look into it. This is going to be somewhat unexpected. It will probably change the landscape of this very situation and potentially start a new journey for the two of you, together or separately. This is a make or break moment. So let's see what this is going to be and how it's going to evolve in the future as well. This feels like that reward. Oh, Come on, Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. This feels like that reward that you absolutely deserve right now, Taurus. After what you went through and given the beautiful person that you are, this is what you deserve. And it feels like right now it's coming towards you. So let's get confirmation. Let's get the details. Let's see what this Knight of Swords and Ace of Swords are symbolizing and representing right now. What is coming up in the near future for you? And how is this going to be this major reward where finally you receive the type of energy and love and care that you have been putting out there into the universe, into these relationships that eventually turned out to be hurtful for you? So, Taurus, let's see what's coming up and how it's going to evolve in the near and distant future as well. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, stores, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video. So to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute reading, I send out emails to confirm every Monday morning. Please check your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Taurus. What we see right here at the bottom of the deck is the bridge energy that takes us from your current situation to your future situation. And this is the hangman. There is something right here which is coming towards you. Obviously, with that card, you don't have to make any move. You just stay there with the four of swords with um, that in that place that we were talking about where you feel safe and you can heal and this energy is coming towards you look at this two of cups this is something amazing coming towards you and i do know that it's going to make you so happy that it's going to be what you were expecting it to be to happen in your life finally but let's see the details let's see what this is going to be and how it's going to evolve in the future. But first of all, let's clarify Ace of Swords 
and Knight of Swords. What? <laughs> two of Cups, two of Cups. These energies are so beautiful for you. Okay. All right. So listen up, Taurus, because this is actually very important. Now we see this.